everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and it is Thursday, so it is viewer request day. Um, I got another anonymous uh, viewer request. It was for a flip cup um, using the burgundy. So your burgundy was a hit. I can't remember who was the uh, one who requested that last week, but um, great, great idea here to use this burgundy. I had to mix this myself. Um, if you didn't catch last week's viewer request, I will link that in the description below but it's for burgundy silver black and white as a flip cup so we're going to go ahead and get started here the silver and the white are artist loft flow acrylic this is a mixture that i have since forgotten how i mix so it's um the colors i used are in the last video but i don't know any of the ratios or anything i just poured colors until i liked it that's how i made it <laughs> Um, and then this black is the uh, Daler Roni Process Black, or whatever that name is. I mixed up a whole bunch, not uh, a while back actually, and I wrote the name, like the brand name, differently on every bottle. <laughs> so I don't even know the correct spelling of the brand name. So I apologize, but I'm sure if you type in some combination of that into Google, Google will figure it out for you if you are interested. Or you can leave it in the comments and I will locate it and provide you with the information. I may be using too much paint because that's been the way it goes lately, but I'll just get a cool skin if I did. Not too worried about it. The cup looks pretty cool. Not as much cells as I would expect with that silver. But let's see what happens when we flip it. It's my favorite part. Yeah. It will give us cells. Um, let me clean up this area real quick and we'll come back and I will pull that cup off and see what we get. All right, we are back. It does look pretty cool. So let's see what we get here. Oh man. I love it when the cup is cool too. All right, I'm gonna tilt this. And wet slowly. I don't know why I say that. In theory, it's supposed to be slow. I do not move slowly. I am impatient. When you have to make decisions. And you're like, but I like that corner. And then you like the next corner. And then you like the next corner. But you have to run some paint off. <laughs> it's the worst. I'm actually not digging this one side of the painting that's getting stretched out currently. Hopefully. Let me get this side going. And hopefully I can push it back. that's just all gray and that's no fun I mean it's a little fun but I want the colors <laughs> I'm gonna run it off this way man I don't know what to do guys I think I like it. More stuff is coming up, so that makes me happy. Just double checking all the corners. I'm trying to remember which way my table is not level, so I make sure that if it runs off, it runs off that way because I do like this lower portion of the painting. So I think I know which way it is where I'm gonna set it, so I'll make sure that that happens because this bottom section, I'm not gonna put my hands over it because I don't wanna drip on it, but this section here, I love. So let me um, 
bring you in for a close-up. I am not going to torch it. I ruined a painting the other day torching it, so I have decided I'm not torching any more paintings until I get a new torch. <laughs> so uh, let's see the close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. I'm going to go down the bottom section of the painting because this is my favorite part with all of the silver and cells with the pink and the black in there. Go up the right hand side to the top of the painting. This is the side that I would be okay with running off. I didn't want to stretch this out too much and if it happens naturally through the unlevel table then I'll be okay with it. If it doesn't then I'm still I still like it so yeah. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for Viewer Request Thursday, leave those there as well. It can be your favorite color combination, your favorite technique, anything at all. Just leave them down there and you can remain anonymous. If you don't want me to say your name, just put that in there. Like, please don't say my name. Here are my favorite colors. Please do a pour. Or here's my favorite technique. Please do a pour. And I won't say your name in the video if that's something you're afraid of. I will respect that for you. But I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do what makes you happy.